Closing. Birthday bash 25 is months away. What's mm. your biggest birthday bash memory? Whoo, that's a tough one. I got a lot. One year, though, I was robbed of MVP. That's probably my biggest memory. Um, and everybody knew it. Everybody knew I got robbed. Um, um, but, and I say that in a sense of that just to think or know that I literally had the biggest performance of the night. And I think that was the year I brought out, like, I brought out, you know, I've 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 performed the birthday bash. I think like, not and I I mean perform as if not with, uh, not DJing for an artist. I've done that plenty. I've done it probably every birthday bash, but like had my own set. And then one year it was like I brought out Meek and Wiz and French and Migos and YG. It was it was just crazy. And you know I think that I walked off that stage like. Uh, with a killer set and so that was a big moment for me like just to you know think about birthday bash and think about MVPs and even though I didn't get it like you know it's I I feel like I don't know if they that was because I wasn't a quote unquote quote conventional artist so they weren't looking at it in that in that sense um, but you know the GM of the company called me and was like you was robbed so um, but beyond that there was a moment too when uh Jeezy brought Jay-Z out and performed Go Crazy. And I remember I had to like literally beg Cannon to come to Birthday Bash. Um, and, you know, to for us to watch that, you know, just to think of, you know, I mean, literally like since started at Hot 107.9 as an intern. And, you know, I was sending my demos up here to try to get hired. So to, to go from, um, from that to, you know, witnessing Two of the biggest artists in the world, you know, perform a record that, um, that you know, we produced that was that came from us. And then I think the the last one I'm gonna say because I got a lot of birthday bash moments, but 2004, um, literally this the day that, the day that uh, Streets is watching came out, um, that birthday bash was, the one where Tip had been locked up and he kind of got out early, and then but there was all this like this, this uh, uh, controversy because the, like a jail video was made and um, yeah, it was just a bunch of shit. It was stuff going on. Like everybody wasn't sure if Tip was out, what he got out early and it was a secret that he was performing a birthday bash. And I was actually still on a road with Lil Scrappy. And that was like, that was literally probably the last show I DJ for Lil Scrappy. It was the first show I ever DJ for TI. And that was when, um, a uh, little flip was on the, the the show, and then Tip was you know Tip surprised the crowd came out. This little flip, they wound up I think like he didn't even perform his whole set. He had to stop early, but you know hence that that was also when he got excited to do the uh, down with the King Gangster Girls and everything. So '04 was a, a memorable one for me. But yeah, I'm, I got memories for, for Birthday Bash for days. Speaking of that birthday bash MVP, right? Gil and Devin been working on a new trophy since last year. Mm. Trying to come win that title this year. Cause Shit, I got a trophy now. Oh man, the pressure's on. We'll see. I mean, we'll talk. I'll talk to the. I'll talk to the gang about it. I might. I might think about coming out of retirement. Certainly, that's what's up, Drop. Appreciate it. Love.